Gina says, I have an ex I still love after 23 years. Ooh. Even when we were not together, after 22, 23 years, you mean it's 23 years ago you met this man and you had a relationship with him and you've been, you've broken up with him for 23 years and you still love him? Is that what you're saying? She says, I don't understand why I love him uh, for so long. He was my first love. Does this happen to people? You know, when, you, when it is your first love, I understand, Ian. When it is your first love, at that time, at the time of first love, you have no expectations. You have no standards. You haven't seen anything. You don't know about yourself, who you are, what you are really, what to expect. Your level of expectations are so basic. You have no... So you're really like a plain sheet of paper that all kinds of impressions could, you know, fall on her. So when you meet someone, everything seems fine because you have no expectation. So there's no division. There's no confrontation. There's no... Uh, um, there's no division between what you expect and what is being offered and what the interaction is. So everything seems so pleasant and wonderful and when it breaks down brings breaks up forever and ever you will think that this was a perfect um, combination perfect relationship but it was perfect because at that time in your life you hadn't developed any expectations any standards you know anything goes it was all good it was all good experience but later on if you bring the same person to your life today with all the wisdom and knowledge and experience that you've gained through your life, you have certain expe expectations, certain standards, and the question is, would that person meet your standards, your expectations, your needs, and, and is, is in harmony with the plans that you have in your life and things you want to achieve, and is it going to be a hindrance or is it going to be an encouragement? So all of that comes to work. But you don't consider any of that. You're only considering the feelings you had then with that person while at that time you were not this person that you are today. You were just a girl who were just experiencing for the first time what love and connection is. And for you, that's what you remember. And you think that is what it will be today if you guys were together. No. Not at all. You know, at that time, you were a person who had no knowledge of how things should be in your own opinion based on your own experience and expectations because you had none. Therefore, the pleasant feelings that you remember is from the time that you didn't have any particular agenda or expectations or standards in your mind. And you cannot compare that feeling to bring it here and say, I still miss him. That person is not gonna, probably not going to fit what you're expecting. And that person is not the same person that he was then. He was a kid. And now it could be a totally different person that wouldn't even feel the same way or wouldn't even think the same way to effect, have a positive effect as he did, as that relationship did on you at that age of yours. So... If you understand the changes that are at the works and what we just talked about, then you will kind of see, okay, it's an illusion you have created of that relationship, of that person, and you think that illusion can actually and is actually the actuality of how it will be, how you would feel right now. You know, it was just like a snap, snapshot of that person at that age. That person is not the same person and you're not the same person and... That wasn't the whole of him that you experienced and that wasn't the whole of you that you know about yourself. So the whole thing is changed. It's just a memory. Enjoy the memory. That's all it is. You can't say it's love. It's just how it was then. And also perhaps maybe you're not so happy today uh, from however your relationship is or was and therefore you fall back into your memory when it was pleasant and you seek refuge in your memory because that was just... The 
the time that you had no pain and you felt wonderful and you want to bring that to make yourself feel good today. Otherwise, uh, that doesn't mean that you love that person still. It just means that memory gives you a certain kind of a comfort today which is not the way you would like it to be, the way things are right now. That's what I think.